G'day folks. A couple of months ago I planted some spuds into that little bathtub bed over the back of the aquaponics there just to see how they'd go in the system and I'm being trolled by a cabbage butterfly. Um, and yeah, today I thought I'd give you a bit of a gander at the harvest. They've been harvested a little bit early, but I thought it would interest you folks out. Uh, I did say last week I wasn't going to be posting videos for a couple of weeks, but you know, I just got so excited when I saw the results. I thought I'd share it with everyone on YouTube. The um, nasturtiums over here, they've taken off nicely. Got some nice flowers in there, but I do have a feeling we're getting mites on these guys. I definitely know we've got mites on the potatoes. I can tell by the bronzing underneath the leaves and the way they're curled in. So I was actually going to ask you folks, what do you think? Do you reckon we pull the potatoes now? They've only been in for around about eight weeks. Or do you reckon I just uh, persevere and try and keep spraying them to see if we can um, get a half decent crop? So folks, I polled the supporters and 100% of you folks, that's Dave, thanks for responding Dave, uh, decided that I should be harvesting the potatoes behind me. Uh, by the way, that noise you can hear in the background is the new gates going up on our driveway, but I'll post to the community tab about that later for everyone on YouTube. Um, yeah, so what we've decided to do, or what I've decided to do, is just pull these bags out one by one. And I have the other uh, camera set up and we'll just see what sort of a potato yield we're going to get. So first cab off the rank will be the coconut koya. And as you'll remember, um, not a lot happened growth wise with this one. Uh, we ended up having it die back very, very quickly. So we'll just swap cameras now. So pull the um, stalk out first and just tip everything in. And yeah, there we go. We've got sand in there as well. So, I dare say, oh, look at that green slime. I dare say that uh, slime is from the uh, pouch itself, just the uh, bio slime, bit of algae. And that are the two seed potatoes that went in. I was just editing the video and I realized that second spud there actually isn't from one of the seed spuds. One of the seed spuds went rotten and I picked it out earlier. I just think the coconut koya was far too moist. So I think one of those rotten potatoes might be uh, one of the first potatoes that formed on that plant before it started to die back. So I just thought I'd point that out. And surprisingly enough, it looks like we've got a couple of small spuds that didn't rot in the coir. So I wasn't expecting that at all. There's another one. So these would be nice just to um, add in whole into a roast or a little potato salad. Maybe chop that one there in half. But yeah, pretty chuffed about that. It just dawned on me, I should probably let you know, there is a video showing how that little bathtub bed was set up and how the aquaponics spuds were planted out. So there will be a link down in the description and one will pop up there in the corner for you folks on YouTube as well. Um, so yeah, check that out if you're interested after you finish watching the harvest video, of course. Uh, but yeah, for now, we'll go and grab that soil pouch and see what sort of a yield we're going to get. And just give you a look at the water down there. I've actually got some plans for um, putting some more pouches back in here, but that'll be on a different video. So onto the soil pouch now, and I'm actually going to um, just snip these stems off. Make it easier to take out. Hopefully it won't get tangled up in any of that nasturtium. Now this one might be a little bit heavier than the coir, so hopefully I won't hurt my back. Oh, this one might be a two-hand job. Hang on, folks. We've got some clay being grabbed onto by some of the roots that have come outside of this pouch. But as you can see up the top, no roots have penetrated. It's just been down the bottom where it's been in water. I don't think there's any delicate way to do this. <laughs> so we'll just try and take out a little bit of soil at the time so we can catch the spuds, if there are any. Just trying to keep the sand layer in there if I can. Oops, there we go. So, off to not a bad start yet again. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that for a harvest of spuds, folks. Not too shabby at all. I might just try and leave these guys on the plant. Make it nice and easy. Just pop them in the top of the cocoa one for now. So I can hose them off. And we have a few other whoppers down here as well. Um, but yeah. I think that is pretty much all it. That's blown me away, that. Uh, as I said, I'll give you a bit of a uh, closer look once we clean it all up. For now, we'll just get all this soil back in there. So folks, after that soil pouch, 
I'm actually thinking we might have, um, yeah, something to look forward to in this one with the clay. So I might be able to get this one out with um, the camera in my hands. We'll wait and see. Oh, yeah. Not as heavy. Hopefully I won't give myself a hernia. So there we go again, folks. We have a lot of roots growing out of the pouch down at um, the soil, the water level, sorry. But up the top here, uh, nothing where they could air prune off. And looking at the amount of roots there, I'm actually thinking we might have at least a half decent yield. So righty -o. I'm just going to tip this all in because it's just all clay. And we'll just sift through there and pull them out. Ah, that's right. This one here, I had some sand and little pots and the potatoes were sitting on top of there. Uh, just to help wick the water up because I didn't want the potatoes sitting in water. There we go. There's a stalk with a couple of spuds on it. Not too shabby. As you can see, they look like they had a little bit of growth left in them. That one's a little bit green, so probably just under the surface of the clay. So I'll try and get all these clay balls out. <laughs> little knobbly looking one. And these ones here were just growing on the straight um, aquaponic nutrient. And that looks like um, the remains of the parent spud. There we go. I'd say that's the remains of the parent spud. That other one may have been from the um, first spud. I just remembered what happened here. Um, one of the spuds didn't really take off that well. And one did. So I dare say this is the spud that um, continued to grow. And this one here is from the first spud. The try as it might, uh, just couldn't reach enough sunlight to grow, so I found a little baby spud there. <laughs> Have one last dig through the clay. I'd say that's pretty much all it. Uh, what I might do is I might just go and wash off these soil ones in particular. So before we have a gander at the aquaponics spud harvest, just wanted to remind you folks that I do have that aquaponics beginner's guide available. There is a link to a demonstration on our website down in the description below, and one will probably pop up in the little corner there. So please check it out if you're interested in, um, yeah, being able to access all my videos in one place, uh, basically by speaking to your phone and asking a question. So there you go, check it out if you're interested. Now we'll go harvest some spuds. To begin with, this is the coconut coir. These guys here were probably only in for about a month and a half, two months with some decent growth on them before they started to die back. Um, so yeah, didn't really expect much from them. Now these whoppers, <laughs> these guys have totally blown me away. A lot of them have fallen off um, from their little stems. There's a couple of stems down here around this side, if I can get it in frame where these guys have fallen off. But I mean, that, um, just from a soil patch, I'd be, I'd be stoked, but to get that out of an aquaponic system, absolutely wrapped. Again, it was soil with some of those um, activated rock mil minerals in the soil, and really chuffed with them. And last but not least, we have the clay ones, which really aren't a bad harvest either. Uh, you can see a number of smaller spuds on there, and I dare say if this went to the full 15, 20 weeks, um, probably around about the 16 to 17 week mark, week mark we would have got a lovely um, crop from these guys as well. Uh, a couple of weird shapes from them. I don't know if that's because they only had the aquaponic nutrient, whereas these guys here also had the, um, the nutrient in the soil as well. So that's a bit of a plus for the dual root zone. I think this calls for a proper spud experiment next season, um, when I have a little bit more growing season and I have the other system set up and I will definitely be using the soil method again. And oh, we might try um, sand, if we have the sand bed up and running by then. So we'll just see how we go. So there we go, folks. Not a bad little yield at all. I'm really chuffed about that. And yeah, there will be a proper aquaponic growing video coming next season uh, when the time comes, probably next autumn. I'll um, start filming and planning them out then. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked. This video ended totally different to how I thought it would. So I would like to thank you all for coming along every week and supporting the channel by leaving your comments below, giving them a thumbs up and sharing them around with your family and friends if you think they'd enjoy them. Uh, many thanks as well to all you folks who have purchased the aquaponics guide. Remember, there is a link in, down in the description, online, fully interactive aquaponics guide. And as always, I really do need to thank you folks who are continuing to support the channel through the YouTube membership program and also the Farm Your Own Yard page 
Thank you very much, folks. Really do appreciate the support. I will pretty much leave it there, though. I do hope you're all well and happy in your own gardens and aquaponics is booming. And I'll catch you next video. Cheers, folks, and happy growing.